Hello, I'm Neely Jones, your host of Focus on Suppliers. We have a meaty show in store for you this week, literally. Join us as we take a look at the meat category and how beer and meat work hand in hand. Plus, fish, yep, it's only becoming more and more popular and packaging is having a huge impact for one national supplier. Also, poultry and GMO-free products, why the demand seems to only be going up. Focus on Supplier starts right now. Focus on Suppliers is presented by 8th and Walton, the premier destination for supplier development, and sponsored in part by Dunn and Bradstreet, Saatchi and Saatchi X, Case Stack, and other outstanding companies. Your millennial fun fact is that 80% of millennials actually consider grilling to be their number one favorite summer activity. Millennials love to have an experience where they're engaging and connecting with their friends. They also love the idea of being outdoors and really putting on an experience that shows their expertise in a certain category. As we think about how to connect with a millennial in that shopping experience in store and really, really focus on the barbecue and summer season, how can we create that total experience and total solution for them as they're shopping for their barbecue needs? Perhaps it's creating a display or some type of communication that gives them that one-stop shop experience that they're looking for. Really giving them tips and tricks to show off to their friends that they're the grilling experts, the party experts, and really own summer. We'll see you next week for the next Millennial Minute. When we talk about the meats category, a lot of people tend to focus on red meats, but fish is also in that category, which brings me to our friends from Marine Harvest. Thank you both for being here today. We have Shelby Ben, who is here with us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And we also have Robert Clark. Thank you for being here. It's great to be here. Thank you. Robert, for folks who don't know a lot about your company, can you kind of give us a brief overview? Mm -hmm, sure. So Marine Harvest is the world's largest salmon farming company. Um, we have uh, head office in Norway, but farms all over the globe, including Canada and Chile uh, and Europe. Uh, and we've been doing this skin pack product now with Walmart for just over a year. We started at two DCs back in April of 2015, and uh, we rolled it out nationwide uh, in May, uh, Mother's Day, which was a, a good time to start. And the program's gone from strength to strength. Exactly. And you've probably seen quite a few trends in that time. What are some of the things you've seen? Uh, yeah, we've seen a big demand for fresh fish. I think the millennial generation are really looking for products that come to them fresh, of a great quality, uh, a transparent product. So we see with these, you can see all sides of it. There's nothing hidden. What are some of the things that you've seen when it comes to fresh fish? You've got 14 days. The most important is to have a great team in place on, on both sides. We have a great internal team and we're, we're building our team uh, locally. Um, I would say that our team that we work with at Walmart is, is great. I think the key is communication. Mm -hmm. We partner, uh, we have a great partnership with them, the buying team and the replenishment team, and we make sure that we, you know, anything that we want to bounce ideas off of each other, we definitely touch base. And I would say that we probably speak several times a week. Mm -hmm. And just by, do, um, with our key items, we also have to make sure that we communicate timing-wise for all the new species that are coming in, just depending on the season seasonality of the year. Can you elaborate on your packaging and what makes it special? Because I know you're proud of it. Yes, we are. Yeah, we do it here in the U.S. It's made in the U.S., so we have a facility in Miami and one in Los Angeles. And then uh, in July of this year, we'll be opening a, f a facility in Dallas as well. And that'll give us great coverage for, for the whole country to deliver this product to Walmart all over the country. So that's key for us. But it's, uh, it's a, tray, a plastic tray, and we use this called skin pack, and we use a very f uh, fine film that goes over the fish. Uh, you know, it's very clear. It's almost as if you can't, can't see it. But it's sealed, vacuum sealed, um, 14 days of freshness. And if you were to put that into your freezer, uh, it would come back out exactly the same. It's amazing. And you were one of the first to do this, correct? That's right. We were the first. Uh, we approached Walmart with this, uh, as I said, over a year ago. 
and uh, it really fitted with them in terms of them developing their fresh category. Uh, they've been looking for a product that's easy to deliver to the store, gives them great shelf life, and is great for the consumer just to grab and go. So it's a, it's a perfect ready-to-go item. Speaking of Walmart, it's my understanding that at the year beginning meeting, your website apparently did really well, and you were kind of given some next steps. So what's the future for your website, and what were the things that people liked? So, so it was a great problem to have. The, the stores, the, the feedback from the stores was, we need more. And the upper management, they, they loved it. They want us to start educating the consumers. And a great place to do that is at the salmonkitchen.com. You can um, see where the fishes come from. You can grab some great recipes down. You can even be specific on cooking time and cooking difficulties and, and um, you know, whatever you're craving for that day. Okay, well, we thank you both so much for being here today. Thanks very much. Thank you. We'll be right back. Be sure to like Ethan Walton on Facebook. We're here today with Stan Zalowski from Movista. Welcome, Stan. Thank you. And we are talking about? Retail technology. Okay. Uh, so 2016, it looks like it's going to be the year of efficiency. Uh, suppliers are hearing from retailers, you got to help me be EDLP. Uh, and at the same time, you got to help me sell more stuff because I want that top line. And when you look at the continuum of from the factory to the shelf, the only place left where people are involved is once the product gets to that back door and before it gets onto the shelf. So those two are a little bit conflicting, aren't they? Trying to, trying to do both of those? Well, maybe, but they have to be done, right? So th at the end of the day for a supplier, it's how am I, gonna, how am I going to get it done? Where am I going to find the cash to help them sell more stuff at shelf? Uh, help us all sell more stuff at shelf. So um, the, the, if I said to you, I'm going to throw out a challenge, what could I use to understand what's going on right now to communicate that in real time and then to affect change more or less in real time, what sort of tool would be out there for doing something like I think that? People would use their phone, right? That's correct. Okay. They're using their phone, but not just their phone, their phone with specific applications. Sure. And of course, that's what we do at Movista. We're not the only company out there, but our clients and prospective clients uh, we've seen our business grow about 300% in the past nine months based solely around the fact that these companies have got to find tools that help them manage their field staff and manage their field ops and get that product where it needs to be with beautiful setup in store when it needs to be there. Well, and information is really important. And the speed to information has changed, hasn't it? Yeah, it sure has. You know, uh, 15 years ago, from the time I, I figured out what's going on, at six weeks to six months to make a change. Now we're asked for six minutes to six hours. I need to know what's going on. I need to react to it, make a change, and sell some more stuff. Right. Well, and reps can react to it when they're out in the stores almost immediately, right? That's right. right. Yeah. It's, it's mobility is everywhere. So. Absolutely. Great. Well, Stan, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your expertise. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Joining us now is Jay Eason from Schumann Cheese. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. Let's tell folks a little bit about your company and your product. Okay. Uh, Schumann Cheese is a four, fourth generation family owned company. We specialize in importing and manufacturing primarily hard Italian cheeses, some soft cheeses such as blue and gorgonzola, and also slicing cheeses for entertaining trays. And to kind of put it in perspective, you say you guys started a little backwards compared to some suppliers. We did. Um, when I came with the company about 18 months ago, we had an existing good business at Sam's, but had not gotten into Walmart yet. And as Walmart started to better understand their a fluent shopper in their stores and tailor their assortment for that ship for that shopper it provided the opportunity for Schumann Cheese to come in and make a presentation um, and show them the gaps in their assortment based on best-in-class retailers and using syndicated data and they looked at the facts and we're now in business. Fantastic and really you are a high-end cheese you're an award-winning cheese. Yes we are we're very proud of our cheeses we had four of our domestically made cheeses win best in class at the World Cheese Championships that were held in Madison, Wisconsin a couple of months ago. And we're very proud of the cheese that we make. And you guys have all different kinds of products that span cat different categories. We do. Um, cheese is analogous to wine in the sense that it, it's unlimited what's out there. And so we're always innovating, uh, making different types of cheeses. A couple of things that we're working on right now are Fontina cheeses, which is a very small, creamy, mild cheese. But we put rubs on it, whether it be habanar and mango, 
harissa, uh, habanero and lime, mm. barbecue, and it makes for an excellent snacking cheese. But we've also had to innovate from a category perspective, not only in cheese, but move into snacking, which is where our WISP product comes in. It's 100% Parmesan, which is baked, uh, nothing else. It's gluten-free, high in protein. It's just a, a wonderful snacking cheese. So a little bit of advice you've been working with Sam's and Walmart that you would give other suppliers that you've learned. Yeah, the, the thing I would say is understand your product's reason for being in Walmart's, Walmart's assortment. They have a business, they have items, but how does your item fit in and how are you going to add value, whether it be through price, whether it be through value, through quality, through branding? What is your reason for being? Why should you be in that assortment? You have to understand that to go talk intelligently to the Walmart buyers and add to their assortment. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Joining us now is Ed Fryer from Ozark Mountain Poultry. Thank you for joining us for our show focused on the meats category. Thank you for having me back. Of course we had to have you. Now, I want to talk to you about some of the trends that you see in that category and your busy season. The, the busy season for us, for the most part, is the summertime. That's when you move into the barbecue season, and you can really see it in prices. If you look at the price of boneless, skinless breast meat in April and you know, March and April, but especially April, it starts to move up, and then it, it's, it's high all summer, high relative to the winter months, and then it starts to drop back down in the fall. You see the same thing with whole birds because, you know, people are cooking out a lot more rotisserie and grilling and that type of thing. Uh, Wings, though, have a very different seasonal pattern. They're very, the prices tend to be fairly low in the summertime, but then as football season starts, because of the demand for party right. wings, they start to move up. They peak usually around Super Bowl weekend, and then they'll stay up through March Madness. Then they drop back down to their summer lows. And something you have to be aware of as a supplier is how to replenish and stay on top of that demand. Yes, yeah, you're, you're always trying to balance what your supply is with what the consumer actually wants out there. And you have some advice for folks when it comes to the holiday season. Yes, yeah. Um, what we've done a few years ago as a, as a family, we've kind of adopted a new, a new tradition, and I would encourage everybody to do it. The, uh, the whole birds are fairly inexpensive around holiday season. When you get to, you know, you're looking at Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and through there, the, the prices for turkeys can be fairly high. Whole birds are fairly, chickens are fairly inexpensive. Go out and buy two Forrester Farmers Markets whole birds, take those home, and cook them on the rotisserie or, or in the oven, however you want to do it. You end up with, and we've got grandkids, so the number of wings that you have is very important. Right. If you've got four wings, not two. Mm -hmm. You've got four drumsticks, not two. It just works out better. You have a recipe. We'll put that up on our social media so folks can check that out. That's a okay. little teaser, my friends. But also, we have about a minute left. Right. Something that you and I have visited about is the importance of a service that Walmart is now offering that could really benefit not just the consumer but suppliers. Yes. Oh, I, and, and I love it. It's the grocery pickup that they've that they're putting in place. If you think about it, Walmart has about 3,500 super centers. They've got about 600 or so neighborhood markets. Um, each one of those has the potential to be a local distribution center, a regional distribution center with the, with the pickup like that. Uh, any other company, an Amazon or a eBay or anybody else that's going to try and get into that same business, they're at a, a tremendous disadvantage from the word go simply because Walmart already has that footprint. It already exists. It's already staffed. Those units are all profitable. Somebody else is going to have to come in and build all of that. Mm -hmm. So for Walmart, that's net new business for each one of those locations. From my perspective as a supplier, the easier it is for a customer to be able to pick up our product and take it home and cook it, the better off it is. And being able to, to go online, put your order in place, and then pick it up on the way home yeah, that's about as good as it gets. Pretty great. Ed Fryer, thank you so much. Thank you. You can see all episodes and extended interviews at Vimeo. K-Stack, the leader in collaborative retail consolidation programs. We offer the supply chain expertise needed to navigate the challenges of selling products with the world's largest retailers. And we provide customers with a customizable, scalable, environmentally sustainable supply chain with the same advanced technology typically used by larger rivals. By leveling the playing field, K-Stack lowers distribution costs and increases overall margins. K-Stack, retail logistics is what we do.
Bentonville Plaza, across the street from the Walmart home office. The best office location offers proximity and services like no other business complex in the area. Call 479-200-1112 today. You just had your buyer meeting. Now there's follow-up to do. Maybe your buyer wants more on seasonal sales or invited you to prepare a joint business plan or set up a date for your line review. Eighth and Walton can help. Our experts work with you one-on-one -on -one in a confidential setting to prepare for your next buyer meeting. The classes we offer help you too. Retail link, supply chain management, inventory management, taught in cities across the country, in Canada, and in Latin America. So before your next buyer meeting, contact Eighth and Walton. Then relax, knowing that you will be ready. On this show, we often talk about specific categories, and one of the things that we have learned through our suppliers is that one category can really affect another, which is part of why we have a special guest with us today, Randy Ornstein, joining us from Anheuser-Busch. Thank you for being on once again. Thank you, Neely. I kind of want to start out talking with you about the spike in sales that you see in the summer season and barbecue trends. Definitely. So beer in the summer is really our summer selling season. It's where all hands are on deck because it's the biggest time of the year for beer sales. We know that in Walmart, according to IRI, the average week in the summer sells 24% more beer than the average week not in the summer. Every week in the summer is bigger than any other week throughout the year, excluding some major holidays like Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. And so it's important that we treat every week in that summer like a holiday due to the increased sell-through. You said all hands on deck. That's something we've talked about. Definitely. I mean, our, our sales force is out in the field throughout the summer, making sure execution is top of mind, in stocks are minimal, and uh, do the influx of the beer sales out there. Makes sense. One of the things we like to talk about is how different categories can affect one another, and you really tend to trend along with the meat category. Yeah, we know amongst grill owners that the most popular grilling days of the year are the major holidays in the summer, July 4th, Labor Day, Memorial Day. Those are also coinciding with the highest beer volume days of the year. And we also know there's a 70% correlation between the weekly buying rate of beef and the weekly buying rate of beer. And we also know that in you know, restaurants, national restaurants, Budweiser is 23% more likely to be purchased with a burger than any other alcohol brand. So there's a good match between beef and burgers. Which is how you end up with some good partnerships during the year. Correct. Okay. So we've put together this Budweiser and Burgers promotion. It's the second year we've put together this event. It was so successful last year, we're investing 10 times more to make it a more impactful event. And you think about Bud Budweiser and Burgers in the summer, it's capitalizing on the biggest summer selling season mm -hmm. for both of them. So we've partnered with uh, Kingsford Charcoal and Casey Master Masterpiece Barbecue Sauce and Smithfield Meats to build an impactful program where when you're in the stores, you'll see the cross-merchandising elements of all four of those brands together. And hopefully the consumer sees that. They're pr providing for a barbecue that night or the weekend. They purchase all the ingredients and have a great time at home grilling and drinking Budweiser. And everybody's working together on the supplier side of things. Correct. Brings you to my next question. Any trends you expect to see this summer? We've only got about 15 seconds. There's a lot of healthy trends out there. Healthinism, which is a combination of exercise and self-indulgence. We're seeing uh, exercise meets drinking events, yoga plus beer classes, and a lot of participation in marathons. So, and people looking at natural foods more closely. All right. Thank you for being here with us Thank today, you very Randy. much. Appreciate it. We'll be right back. Joining us now, we have Shavalo and Monique. I want to make sure I get this right. Wilson DeBriano, did I get it right? Hi. Yes. Thank you both so much for being here from the Charleston Gourmet Burger Company. We appreciate you both. Thank you. Our pleasure. It's been about a year, so I'm going to start with you. Tell us a little bit about how far you've come and how things have changed. Well, I tell you, it's just unbelievable how we have progressed and how things have gone. I mean, just to start it out as a simple idea in our backyard cookout, we added herbs and spices to our burger meat, and before we cooked it, it ended up being a sensation. Family and friends loved it. We ended up doing farmer's markets, bottled our products, and then in time, it moved on to, to getting it into stores and different supermarkets. And, and Walmart was a dream for us. It was a what if. 
so it's pretty nice to be, you know, actually seeing our product on the shelf. Well, exactly. Yeah. Now you are in the world's largest retailer. And yes. I want to ask you, because we have suppliers watching this show, I want to be sure and ask, what have you learned in this first year? It's a lot of work. Having your product in Walmart, you know, that's when the work starts. It is a process to actually, you know, get get through the door. But once you're, you're in, it's a lot of work. It's not time to sit back and relax, um, be a student. You, it's a lot to learn. It's a lot to learn. Yes, and as long as you are coachable and you come into it realizing that you just don't know everything, the people at Walmart are so nice with helping you, helping you through the process and explaining what to do step by step. By step, it makes it so much easier. Well, one of the things you mentioned too was really trying to learn Retail Link. Yes, trying to learn Retail Link. I dedicate a couple of hours every day to learning something new. I'm going back, reinforcing what I know. Pulling the reports is really, really, you know, something that's important. You should be doing every day, staying on top of your numbers. You have to know what's selling where. If it's not selling, you need to get on the phone, make friends with that store manager, the grocery manager, and find out, you know, what's going on. Or because it could be something little. You know, and it's taking ownership of your business. Mm -hmm. It's easy to say, oh, well, if you come in Walmart, that you'll just outsource all this stuff to other people. But no, I feel that you're better as a vendor, as a supplier, when you know how to do it and you know how to track your orders and know everything with retail links. So that's why it's so important for and us. you're hands-on. You, you should be in your stores, visiting your stores, and, and making sure your product is there, your product is displayed properly, the shelf tag is right, your product is scanning, all those little things you know it, it could be it, they add up and it's, it's pretty important so well let's talk about you have some new products on store shelves let's yes. talk about what you have so we have our um, low sugar gourmet burger marinade which makes the most incredible burger you will ever have um, this goes on top this is our gourmet burger sauce so instead of using ketchup which everyone uses ketchup use the burger sauce it gives it that finishing touch these are our new products it just came off the production line this is our low sugar barbecue sauce Mm -hmm. So actually no one has seen it. It'll be the first time today we're actually taking it over to Walmart. So it's pretty exciting. It's only two calories. And like the rest of our line, it's clean. It's gluten-free. It's low in sodium. And uh, yeah, all of, all of the ingredients. Of sugars. You can't yeah. beat that. We don't use any artificial mm -hmm. ingredients in our products. No preservatives. So... Great to yeah. see you guys. Unfortunately, I could talk to you all day long, but we're out of time. Yes. We're going to tape a longer interview that we'll share with our viewers on the Internet. So thank you both for being here. Thank, thank you for it. having thank us. You. We'll be right back. Visit us at 8thandwalton.com to learn how you can become a better partner with Walmart. Bentonville Commerce, less than one mile from the Walmart home office. You'll love the convenience, amenities, and customized options Bentonville Commerce offers. For more information or a tour, call 479-200-1112 today. GigWalk is transforming how work gets done. As the leading mobile workforce management platform, GigWalk provides companies with mobile tools and a data-driven approach to improving business efficiency. Leading brands and retailers use GigWalk to manage their field teams and to mobilize 750,000 GigWalkers to collect data intelligence about their business and brands. Are the shelves stocked? Are my products priced competitively? Are the correct promotions in place? Visit us at GigWalk.com to learn more. GigWalk. Make work better. With over a decade of experience in the Walmart digital ecosystem, Rockfish builds engaging, cutting-edge solutions as your digital innovation partner on retail CPG, shopper marketing, and digital shelf optimization. Find out more at rockfishdigital.com. Don't conduct business in the dark. The Northwest Arkansas Business Journal sheds light on what's happening in Walmart's backyard. Subscribe today. To get two free issues with your subscription, go to nwabusinessjournal.com forward slash promo and use promo code Focus on Suppliers. Joining us now for this week's Heart of Business, we actually have three special guests, but I'm going to start out introducing the human. So we Great. start with Steve Galen of Bissell. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. Bissell has been very much supportive and a great part of why we have the Mercy Therapy Dog program. And that brings me to Leslie Evans. Thank you for being here today. Well, thank you. Talk to you about your program and what you do. Uh, I help coordinate the volunteers, the handlers, and their dogs. We have five handlers and seven dogs in the program. We started in August, and we're moving all over the hospital, visiting patients and staff. And it's been great fun, and we've had some in 
a lot of positive feedback that it's helped the patients tremendously and brought them out in ways that they weren't before. You told me that that was something you wanted to be sure and talk about. What makes a therapy dog so special? Yeah. A therapy dog is uh, not a, something you can train a dog for. The dog either has it or they don't. And uh, they communicate with people non-verbally and they curl up with them in a way that is very reassuring and they send non-verbal signals that you're okay, I'm okay, we're good, you know, and it's it's amazing. They calm them down. Yeah. And if you have an agitated patient, I don't worry about it because I know the dog will be there and it'll settle the patient down. And you were saying it can help amazing. with everything from lowering blood pressure, just yes. about anything you can think of, right? Yeah. Heart rate, blood pressure, uh, and people open up, talk about their lives and their animals, and you know they they've been miserable up until you walk into the room, and then you bring the dog in, and there's this whole process within a few minutes that the dog has transform the room into something amazing. That it's just so that sweet. And this is Cody that you're holding, Steve. And yeah. you, tell me why Bissell, Bissell has a story and you have a story about what you've seen with dogs. Uh, yes, my, my wife and I, we have a son who spent uh, quite a bit of time at Children's Hospital about eight years ago. And uh, one of the things that he really enjoyed was the different therapy dogs that would come to his bed every single week. And he always made sure he was in his bed. And uh, I, I joined Bissell about that same time, and I was very happy to know that Bissell has a pet foundation that you know, their main mission is to reduce the number of you know, dogs in animal shelters as well as support organizations that you know, help with the tr humane treatment of animals like microchipping and foster care and pet adoption. Wonderful. Okay, and I want to be sure and say that if people want an animal or dog, therapy dog, to come right. visit them in the room, they can't just call you up. What they need to do is have a prescription from their doctor or right. nurse. Right. And you were saying there's little stickers on the nurses' computers now? Yes, yep. and so it tells them how to code it in for uh, a therapy dog visit, and uh, it's pretty simple now. Everybody's learning, and the word's getting out, and so we had events over there and advertised, and so we're... We're pretty happy that that part is finished, and so Fantastic. You know, we're getting more orders every week. So We've got about 20 seconds. I know you want to say a special thanks to Clark and some other folks at Mercy. Yes, Clark Ellison, Nicole Crawford, and the whole team at the Mercy Health Foundation. We wouldn't, be, it, we wouldn't have a program if it wasn't for them. Thank you guys for what you're doing to make a difference in people's lives, and thank you to Bissell for setting such a good example. Oh, thanks for having thank us. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll be right back. That does it for this week's show, but here are three key takeaways you might want to jot down. One, don't miss the opportunity to take advantage of cross-marketing, especially during peak season. And number two, remember when working with the world's largest retailer, the importance of having boots on the ground in Bentonville, Arkansas. Also, consumers want to see what's in their food. So make sure your packaging counts. That does it for this week's show. We'll see you next week. I walk in every day and I just take a deep breath and I'm like, I can't believe where it's gone, where it's come to. Blood, sweat, and tears, and then some, everything to build the, the company where it's at. I'm Billy Westbrook, and Scrublade is a idea I had. I wondered why don't wiper blades scrub your windshield? If they're going back and forth, why don't they scrub the windshield while they're doing it? You know, I was making barely any money to survive. Um, I was living on an air mattress at a friend's house, completely stripped down to nothing. It's just me. I was like, I'm going to give this 100% and see what happens with it. And that was in 2006. It's 2014 now, and I've never stopped. In the journey of Scrublade, we had a huge opportunity to do a, a big test with, with Walmart. And if I would've worked all those eight years and neglected my business credit, I wouldn't have had the biggest opportunity of our journey. Dunn and Bradstreet is a huge partnership for Scrublade. They share the knowledge really well, go through your credit rating with you and explain what this means and what that means. We're um, starting a big test with AutoZone, and I mean, they're the largest automotive retailer in the world. It's gonna take our company to the next level and beyond. What drives me, what keeps me going, 
is uh, my family. Yeah. My job is to take care of my family and it gives me a lot of pride to know that I can do that. And at the same instance, Dun & Bradstreet is uh, taking care of me or my entity, Scrub Lady. I mean, it's still a small company, but big in my eyes. We want to have fun with it. We want to bring people in along for the journey. You know, life's a journey. Get a clearer view. That's what Scrub Blade's uh, tagline is, and it, it, it means everything.